Oh, so we are back with more SPL. We get uh, a Zog, aka Femen versus Letna. I think Letna is on the Sharks there in the back. 0 and 5 versus the Tigers. So Letna got that pressure. He has to win this. Oh, nice Hooper. I love Hooper, dude. Mega low punny Hooper squad. Okay. Mm. So if that's uh, that's probably obviously Spadev packs. If the Pharaoh is also Spadev, that would mean the Lando has to be defensive. Um, to check stuff like Zygarde, but it could also be more Fistev, Pharaoh, and then an offensive Lando. I'm not sure about that yet. If the Lando is defensive, I think either the La the um, Hoopa or the Tren have to be Scarf. Um, <laughs> I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I think Hoopa shouldn't be Scarf. Hoopa should um, abuse its breaking potential and be either Z-Move, Bandit, or Specs. Uh, but yeah, on the other side, we have a Mammoth One, which I'm a big fan of Mammoth One. And Mammoth One has no switch ins. Um, that's that's looking super threatening. Probably gonna be a Megalari from, from Femen. I just like Femen more. I don't wanna pronounce his new name. His new name is weird. He got a name change. Um, yeah, probably. It could be AV Megina and then offensive Z move Tren. Uh, it could also be Z move on. On Greninja, yeah, I, I would guess that the lander has to be defensive. So yeah, this could be like a standard team, like a lot of people use a team like this. You have four offensive mons, and then you have um, defensive lander and AV Megina as like a Volturn type of core, as a two bulky pivots to check uh, some of the meta game and get your threats and get your breakers in. So this is looking like an interesting game. I think Mammoth One pretty much is gonna give Letna a lot of problems whenever it comes in on a Toxapex. <laughs> And Hooper, obviously, if played correct, also looks super threatening because if it has Fire Punch, Megina doesn't switch in that well. Why does Megina look so little this sprite? Um, I mean, this team might also not have a Scarfa. He might just have Fake Out, Low Pony, but I don't, I don't like that. I think he, I think he wants a Scarfa for sure. It actually, kind of looks like an AVR team that had Megalari, and that team had Scarf Turn as well. So we do see. Um, Femen's lander was fast. That doesn't mean anything yet. They could still be both defensive, and it could just be um, that he has a little bit more speed, or that it's a tie. Um, let me see. Let me see. I'm guessing that this is a uh, default lander on Femen's side with uh, Rocks Mammal Swine. It could be Sash or Life or Mammal. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, Zemo is probably on on Tren or Ninja. I don't think this would be Zemo of Lando. Um, so if I'm if I'm Femen here, I would probably go into Greninja. U-turns, okay, so maybe that means that he's uh, he could be Scarf Land though, because uh, he U-turned out so so like conf confident. They they could still be both uh, Scarf Land, so that is sixteen percent. Let me run a calc real quick. Um, I didn't have the, I did not use calcs in my recordings in a fat minute. I think. Uh, Latna is gonna go to his thing here, Lopani. Yep. Now, yeah, he doesn't have a switch in for this. Um, like, Lando would be the only high jump kick switch in on Megalari. But. Like, he obviously doesn't want to sack his Memo Swan because Memo Swan is a huge threat. So, he wants to switch out really badly. Um, if Lando lives an Ice Punch for sure, then I think Lando is a fine play here. Like, if it's Scarf Lando and still lives Ice Punch, I think it will. But yeah, I just want to call. Uh, let's say Lando versus Lando, right? Uh, let's say Choice Scarf versus Choice Scarf Lando. Um, you turn with a crit, how much would that have done? That would have done uh, 13 to 15 percent. As he goes, Megina. Um, he he predicted either a uh, Ice Punch, or um, yeah, he predicted the Ice Punch there. I assume. Like he predicted him to not go for High Jump Kick because of the Lando that he has in the back and because of the Lottie. So it goes into Megina, gets crit, which is unfortunate. Um, there's a 31 with a crit, so this is definitely max HP, I would guess. I uh, so probably AV. Uh, so Latna's either gonna go Pex or... Okay, he goes Ferrothorn. Now, Latna can get up a Hazard here. Even if this is HP Fire, minus 2 is not gonna do much to the Ferrothorn. Um, obviously, this has Volt Switch, so there's like not really a point in doubling, unless, you were gonna go in, unless he was gonna go Landris. So he gets his Rocks up. Okay, so this might not be Spikes, and it might be Defog Lando. Now, 
He doesn't have a good switch in for Heatran at all. Hoopa can switch in one time. As he gets up the rocks as well, okay. Okay, it's Rock's Trend and not Rock's Mammo. I didn't even consider that. I saw this trend would have been Magma Storm, Toxic, Taunt, Earth Power. And I thought he would have Rocks on Mammo Swine. But that could mean that Mammo Swine is 4 attacks, Ice Shard, Knock Off, Icicle Crush, and Earthquake. Ooh, the the Mammo could also be the Zemo user. I didn't consider that yet. But yeah, this. Uh, is probably gonna. He's probably gonna go for like Bandit Hyperspace here, if he's Bandit, that is. Um, like, Megina doesn't want to take that at all, but Rocks up. It, it may barely take two hyperspace, I would assume. Uh, obviously, Magina would take two dark pulls, but sometimes I think ABI used it. It was Spec Super, and it still had Fire Punch. So, like, if it's Specs, um, it might still have a move to hit the Magina. Um, does he need the Heatron? He wants the Heatron because when Heatron comes in on Pharaoh Opex, it's gonna be super nice. Um, I don't think, like, besides the Z-move or Focus Blast, I don't think Hoopa can Oko the trend, though, so maybe staying in might be the play. We don't know yet if it's left. He goes Hard Greninja, predicting a Hyperspace slash Dark Pulse. And yeah, I think that's Banner, there's a 69 to a Greninja. Oh, yeah, there's also a chance that the Greninja could be Scarf, I didn't consider that yet. But, he, like, how much did you 10 do again? 16. Yeah, I'm guessing, I'm guessing that this lander was Scarf, actually. Yeah. I think this is Ash Grin. So he's gonna spike here if he's good, if he's Ash. Yes, yes, he's Ash Spikes. Okay, so I'm glad that I got that correct. For a second, I thought it would be Scarf, but then I, um, yeah, I pretty much figured out that the lander was a Scarf and this is Spikes Ash. So now he can either try to get up two more layers, which uh, Lander's only potential defogger is a Scarf, uh, is a Lando. We don't know, confirmed if that's Scarf, but they're both just U turn out turn one. And wait, how much damage did Letna do with his U-turn? He did 16% to a Mammoth Swine at minus 1. I would have to calc if that's offensive Lando. But he doubles into Hooper and Hooper gets a kill here. That was a free fire play. And uh, knowing that the Greninja is most likely locked, uh, locked into Spikes. And even if it's not locked in, um, that was pretty much a fine play going Hooper. Like, he was not going to Dark Pulse there. If he's not choiced. Yeah, he doesn't have to predict, I think. He just hyperspaces and... Migiana yeah, might be able to take it, but it's gonna take a lot and it's... Uh, let me see. Assault Vest versus... Hoopa. Uh, yeah, hyperspace two it KOs, actually, especially after rocks. Yeah, not even not even after rocks. Hyperspace just two it KOs. Damn, I underestimated Bandit Hooper. So he just gets a kill here with hyperspace. I mean, Land Lando can come in one time. Lando can come in one time, but Lando will take like a, a lot, especially with Rocks up. Lando will get completely destroyed. I think it will take like 80. And so after Rocks, it will almost be dead. Uh, no, no, not defensive. Offensive Lando. I mean, sometimes Scarf Lando runs like some bulk investment. But you guys can see uh, 64 to 76. So after Rocks, it would do around 80 ish to, to a Lando. Wait, that, that, does li that does a little bit less than I was expecting. But I guess that's just Intimidate. Showing wh how much uh, of a difference Intimidate can make, okay. But yeah, Hyperspace is definitely the play here for Letna. Unless it's Zemo Featuren, which it actually might be because I don't think it had leftovers. But yeah, if it's Zemo Featuren, it might be able to kill the, the Hooper. But the thing is, Hooper is faster and Hyperspace should kill... Let me, let me see. Featuren, uh... Let's say, oh, you trap. Uh, yeah, Hyperspace kills, so never mind. Yeah, Featuren is not gonna be able to put in any work because Hyperspace just destroys it. And Hooper is definitely faster. Uh, unless it's Scarf Rocks Trend. And if it's Scarf, I'm pretty sure it cannot kill. Yeah, yeah, if it's Scarf, it cannot kill. Hooper has um, a really decent spadef. Or I would just. I should say great spadef. So yeah, Zog has to. Or Femin has to either pick his fodder here or let the Lando take a huge hit. Hmm. I think he might have to sack his Megina. The, the crit obviously sucked early on the Megina with the frustration. I think he might have to sack the Megina. Besides being a great, uh, fine pivot, Megina doesn't do much this game. Um, like, it doesn't really check the low pony much anymore after that frustration crit. It obviously loses to Heatran and Pax, and it's also in Lando EQ range. And it cannot switch into Hoopa either. So yeah, I think I think he's gonna sack the Megina here. As Latna's just gonna click Hyperspace Fury. 
Yep, that's correct. Nice, nice, nice. And yeah, that is a that is a lot. So he's just gonna sack off the Megina because now he already let it take the hit, so there's no point in switching out now. So he's gonna get sacked off. And then he can afterwards go into his uh either Landris and U-turn, or he can go into his uh Wait, how Mamoswine Mamoswine is a potential play here. Okay, go Squid Ninja. And I would guess if Specs Pump kills. Letna is going to feed it, and Letna is going to switch into his Toxic Packs. Um, let me see. Yeah, I'm thinking that either the... Yeah, one of these three is the Z-Move user. I'm not sure which one. There goes Packs here that covers pretty much everything. See, Dark Pulses. And 36%, I'm pretty sure if that's the Death Packs, that is Specs Goon Ninja. So, um, Femin can go for the Flinch here, actually. Letna doesn't have a switch in because like he can he can go low pani yeah okay I was gonna say he can go low pani but with health up he's not gonna enjoy taking this as he gets a crit okay crit for crit his low pani crit the Megiana earlier like I was gonna say he doesn't have a switch in but yeah obviously low pani resisted um they're, now they played quite fast I I, I couldn't finish my um, my thought process before he made the play like I was gonna say low pani definitely doesn't enjoy taking that. And now Lopani obviously outspeeds the Greninja, and Greninja dies to rocks, so I don't think there's a point in keeping the Greninja around. Uh, especially because he doesn't have a switch into this. So Letna can just click Frustration here, and I think uh, Femina is forced to sack the Greninja, for sure. And afterwards he can then go into his, uh, into his land or his Lari. Yeah, like he has he a lot of options, he can go into one of these three afterwards. Uh, the thing is if you go Mammoth Vine, it forces a predict between Ice Shard, and between um, predicting the switch out. So I feel like Mammoth Swan is not the play. I think afterwards Lando or Laddie is the play. Uh, and now he should take this, right? Mm -hmm. But yeah, these plays have... Um, they have been waiting, letting us wait. Like, that was super annoying. Like, the game was scheduled for like... 100 minutes ago or something. <laughs> and like... I was never trying to like record a black white game and like I had like some recording issues so I have to re-narrate that game later and I was gonna re-narrate that game but then I realized oh the Femin game is soon let me not do that I don't want to miss that game but they, these guys just took forever so he goes Skyland he's just gonna U-turn here I would guess HP Isis trying to catch the Landris uh, Latna goes in the packs predicting U-turn slash HP Isis a uh, bit risky but I actually think he would never yeah I don't think he would have off quick there. Knowing that the Lando is in the back. And I don't think the Lopani was ever going to stay in there. Lopani can still um, come in one more time on Hazards, right? Yeah. And it can come in on like Heatran, for example, and still get a kill. So now this is locked into HBI. So this is a free Toxic for um, for Latna here. Skulls. I feel Toxic would have been a better play if he has that. He gets a burn, though. Um, so now, if this has HP Fire, this is actually a huge threat because then... Like, it runs Earthquake, right? It's Megalady, Earthquake, Recover. And then it's either Draco, Psychic, or Psychic and HP Fire. That's actually a set with HP Fire that my man Ultra Bolt has been using for a while, and I like that set a lot. Because people usually assume that they can wall... As he doubles in the Heatran Prick in the Feral Thorn, which means he probably doesn't have HP Fire on his Lady. Uh, Latna went for Recover, which was super risky, but it worked out. And now he dodges a Magma Storm, which sucks a lot. Because if he hits that Magma Storm, the Pax would be confirmed trapped. Because we know the Pax is Black Sludge, so it cannot be Shed Shell Pax. And now if it's Groundium Heatran, he can still kill the Pax. But if it's not Groundium... As it is, is Groundium? It is Bloom Doom Trend, and it's not going to kill. That did nothing. Uh, Groundium would have been the only thing that could have killed the Pax there. So that uh, Magma Storm miss sucked a lot for Femin. And now Mammoth Swank is in, and I think Mammoth Swank is... Ooh, Substitute, but he's just going to Scald... Not allowing the Mammoth to set up, or potentially trying to catch uh, Femin on an overprediction, going for like an Icicle Crash. But yeah, Letna was just sacking the Pax, because the Pax wasn't doing much anymore. The only thing Pax could have done at that point was pretty much... It is Scarf Trend, as I thought. Um, did I think that earlier? Um, I don't know on which team, but I think on one of the two teams I considered... No, no, I thought I thought both the Landers were the Scarf after a while. At first, I thought... At yeah, Team Preview, I thought the Trend could be Scarf, but then I kind of changed my opinion and thought the Lando would be Scarf. So I changed that it's double Scarf, but I'm not sure. But yeah, like, Keytrain, you usually... Wait, 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 wait. What's Mammoth Swine base speed before I say anything wrong? Maybe maybe Heatran outspeeds it naturally. Um... Hey, no, Heatran doesn't outspeed it naturally, so it's definitely a Scarf Heatran. Otherwise, you would never risk that. So he Earthquakes this time, just in case Lantna stays in. 
And it also covers the Hooper as Lena just sex that off. Now Landris is gonna come out here. And I think Latna pretty much has this game unless he chokes. He can just click HP Ice here, right? Um, what is this? What was his Z move user? Did he show one yet? He didn't. This could be Z move Lando, but U turn is usually not common on that. Mm. I think HP Ice is always the play here if you have it. Because you don't want to U turn and have Femin stay in. Unless Femin is, uh, unless Femin is obviously faster, but if Femin, if that was a speed tail earlier with the two Landos, which I don't think it is, but just in case, yeah, HPS was always the play there. Uh, the crit sucks a bit, and yeah, this sucks. He dodged, he dodged a magma storm, and now he gets a crit. Now this is gonna um, mega and go for recover. Over oh, Draco, okay. So he kills the low pony. Um, basically, going low pony, that was a fine play because it means the Ladi is kept low. Because if it goes for recover, then you can fake out into frustration or uh, hard frustration, depending on if it kills. So he clicks flash can, and now uh, Lena just wins the game because Lando can obviously not um, lock into a move that beats um, Lando, Heatran, and Ferrothorn. If he locks into HPI, Heatran walls it. If he locks into Earthquake, the opposing Lando walls it. So Lena is going to take uh, the game. And I keep mixing up. Which guy, which, who is on which team, because Femin also had a name change. He does Earthquake, so Letna can now go into his land, don't click HPIs, and the game ends. But the Hex sucked the fuck ton, especially the miss on the packs with the Madness Storm. Uh, let me, let me see, let me see. Because this is, um, BTB, my man, is on one of the two teams. So I hope that the guy from his team actually won. Let me, let me check that out real quick. So Letna won the battle. Yeah, Letna was on BTB's team, which means the score is now 1-5. So there's still some hope for the Sharks. They're back in the back 1-5. Um, I don't know. Let's see if they can make the comeback happen and make it like 7-5 or at least 6-6. Six six. Right, yeah, thank you guys for watching. It was a cool game and pretty much I think there is another black and white game later. And I'm going to try to catch that live. And what else? There might, there might be a... Uh, oh yeah, I think there's like an ADV game, but I'm not going to record that most likely. Uh, since I don't have any knowledge in that tier, and I've also seen like uh, I think someone else cover ADV anyway. But yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed. It was a pretty cool game, but the mammoth one, like the mammoth one, I was so hyped when I saw that team preview. But unfortunately, I only got that one kill on the on the packs. Was but uh, uh, am I missing something? I think I only got one kill. So scarf trend. I could have been double scarf actually. Oh, it's leftovers. It's leftovers. Okay, okay. If I have, if I said it was doubles, when it was it revealed that it's leftovers? Yeah, I have not been paying attention when it was revealed. Let me, let me skip through and see when it was revealed. Uh, so that you turned both turn one, so that wasn't revealed there. Yeah, it was revealed relatively late in the game, so I stand by my play, assuming that it's choice scarf. And I mean, I, I would have had to run the calc uh, with the U-turns doing 16 to the mammoth swine. I guess from that it would have it was pretty obvious from there that. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, turn 24, he reveals leftovers. Okay, okay. So, uh, yeah, I didn't pay attention there. I was just looking at the Lottie. I was just getting mad at the crit there. Right, thank you guys for watching. Uh, someone interrupts me. Okay, amazing. Gotta, gotta mess up the order, you feel me? Yeah, I was getting mad at the crit, so I didn't pay attention to that. But yeah, peace out. And, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to think what I will put in the thumbnail, but I will, um, I will figure something out. Hope you guys all enjoyed, and goodbye. <laughs>